What up though? This is Kevin Messel with Beyond Your Limits and today I'm going to teach you five post moves that will make you impossible to guard in the post. But before we do that, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and also I have my free cheat code to score more points down in the description. It's three simple steps that's guaranteed to get you to score more points. Alright, without further ado, here's the five post moves. Alright, the first move we have is a baseline jump shot. Just going to catch the ball with both feet hitting the ground at the same time. You're going to pivot forward towards the baseline and spring up for a jump shot. This is a great angle to use the backboard. Uh, this is also a move that has been used by some of the greatest of all time to play. Michael Jordan and Kobe both use this move. They also use the fadeaway with theirs, but I suggest that you uh, perfect the footwork and jumping straight up and knocking it in off the glass before you start with the fadeaway. All right, the next move in this progression is a hook shot. You're going to turn baseline, get show the ball as a shot fake. The defense will be uh, more adept to fall for it after you hit that jump shot a couple times. Then you're just going to take two back down dribbles and then go up for the hook shot over your left shoulder with your right hand. You can use this on both blocks. Alright, the next move in this progression is an up and under move. Uh, this is an old move that people have used for a long time. It's very effective. Uh, Kevin McHale was one of the best ones to do the up and under. But on this one, after your defender has got hit with the hook shot a couple times, they'll be gearing up to, to contest that shot or maybe to try to block it. And so you're just showing the ball, you're stepping through, springing up for your layup. Uh, when you show the ball, that'll get the defender off balance. Once you've hit a couple hook shots, you can just step right past them and up for the layup. Alright, the next post move in this progression is a drop step. Once you've hit the defender with those first couple of moves, they'll see that you're trying to back them down to the middle of the paint and they'll gear up to try to stop you from getting to the middle. So they'll get to your high side and they'll use all their strength to try to prevent you from going to the middle. And this is playing right into your hands because once you drop step, they'll be on your back and the only thing they can do is follow you, go over your back to try to stop you. And so you'll have them right where you want them. Okay, the last move in this progression is you're going to add a dream shake at the end of the move and after your defender has been getting hit with all these moves they'll no question have no clue what you're about to do so you're just backing them down to the middle and once they see you hit them with the drop step a couple of times maybe they'll be more uh, ready to try to defend that and then that's when you give them a dream shake you fake like you're going to drop step you just turn the other way and you have a wide open three foot shot at the basket and with these five post moves in your arsenal, you'll be completely unguardable on the low block. And since these moves are also progression drills, if someone stops one, you can just continue on to the next one. If you turn for your baseline jump shot and the defender's there, you can just back them down and continue on to one of the other four post moves. And with these tools in your toolbox, 
you are now completely unguardable on the low block. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Alright, those are my five post moves that will make you impossible to guard in the low post. Uh, let me know in the description what you think about those moves. I want you to take them. Uh, take them to your open gym. Work on them. See if they work for you. Uh, let me know how they work. Alright, I hope you got some value out of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. See you later.